Hello everyone, I'm Di Xintang from the University of Chicago. Today I'm happy to present our work Thrifty Query Execution via Incrementability. Incremental execution can reduce the query latency. Consider one example of querying a stream of tuples that is being loaded into the database. Here, a query is scheduled to process a set of tuples such as daily loaded data. The query latency is defined at the time between all data arrives and the result is returned. Incremental execution can start the query early and incrementally process new tuples to lower the query latency. If we want to maintain this query eagerly, which means we will start one execution for every smaller amount of data, we can further lower the query latency. However, incremental execution has wasted work. Consider this query as an example. It first computes the average balance for all customers, and then uses one join operator to find all customers with a balance that is higher than the average one. If the new customer is inserted and the average balance is updated, the query needs to rescan this customer table to find the new set of customers that meets the new join condition. If we want to maintain this query eagerly, like for every customer, every new customer, we have to repeatedly rescan this customer table and remove prior output tuples, which means eager incremental execution can increase the total work, although at the same time, it is decreasing the query latency. Interestingly, not all eager execution will increase the total work. For example, eagerly maintaining the average balance for all newly inserted customers does not increase the total work. Because this eager execution does not remove prior output tuples, and all newly inserted customers should be included to process this and to compute this average balance. It is a join operator that introduces the wasted work, and therefore it should be maintained lazily. This example motivates us to think how to decompose this query into smaller pieces and execute them at different frequencies, some eagerly, some lazily. In this project, we consider decomposing this query into query path. A query path is a data flow that flushes tuples from one input or blocking operator to the output of the next blocking operator. Let's look at one example of executing the decomposed plan. Here we use the pace as the indicate to indicate how eagerly we execute a query path. It represents how many times we will execute this query path, and each execution has an equal input data size. For example, pace three means we will start one execution for every one third of the total estimated input tuples arrived. If all data arrives, we will execute query path B and C because their paces are set to one. Compared to traditional incremental execution with a single pace, this decomposed plan is able to achieve lower total work and also similar latency. Therefore, the problem here is how to find a pace configuration that minimizes the total work and meet the final work constraint. The total work represents the total units of work for the whole query execution, and the final work represents the units of work to be done after all data arrives. It is a proxy for query latency. To solve this problem, we propose incrementability of where query processing, or NQP, NQP takes a query and final word constraint and the input from users. The query specifies a SQL statement and what data to query, such as daily loaded data. And the final word constraint is the ratio between the desired final work users want to achieve and the final work of batch processing. For example, here's the final work of batch processing. If users want to reduce its query latency or the final work to 30% of the one of batch processing, they will set this constraint to 0.3.
Incomplete further includes the information about the estimated data arrival rate and generate the pace configuration to reduce the total work. In INCOP, we propose a novel metric incrementability to quantify the cost effectiveness of incremental executions. We have a new cost model based on existing work to compute incrementability and propose an optimization algorithm that leverages incrementability to find the pace configuration to reduce the total work. In this talk, I will focus on the definition of the incrementability and the optimization algorithm. Let's start with the definition of incrementability for a query with a single pace. Incremental execution essentially makes trade off between total work and final work. If the pace is one, it is executed and the batch processing. As we are increasing the pace from a smaller one to a larger one, we have the benefit of decreased final work, but the overhead of increased total work. Therefore, we define the incrementability and the ratio between the two. It represents the amount of final work reduced per unit of total work we have invested into the incremental execution. The higher the value is, the more amenable the query is to incremental executions. Let's look at the definition of incrementability between two pace configurations. Here, one pace configuration includes all paces for all query paths. We require pace configuration B should be more eager than the pace configuration A, which means for any pace in PB, it should be no smaller than the corresponding pace in PA. And there is at least one pace in PB that is larger than the pace in PA. With that, we will use our cost model to compute the incrementability. With the incrementability computed, we propose an optimization algorithm that leverages incrementability to reduce the total work. It is a greedy algorithm that starts at batch processing where all paces are set to one. We gradually start increasing the paces to reduce the final work. Before that, we will first check whether this optimization should finish, which is either when we have met the final work constraint or have reached the max pace. If not, we consider increasing the pace of one query path by one. We check all three possible options and take the one with the highest incrementability. And now we have a new pace configuration. We will repeat this process until this optimization finishes. We implement NQP on Spark SQL and use Kafka as a data source. We use the baseline of an incrementability oblivious approach it is uses a single pace for the whole query, and the pace is decided based on Incubus cost model to meet the final work constraint. We use all 22 TPCH queries plus two handwritten queries using TPCH schema. We note that the line item table occupies 70% of the all TPCH data to make sure that Every query has relatively large working data set and does not run out of memory. We use the scale factor 10 for the queries that access line item table. Otherwise, we use scale factor 100. We simulate a loading process with a rate of one gigabyte per minute and set the max pace to 100. All experiments are run on a machine with 20 cores and 192 gigabytes. Let's look at the first experiment. Here, we report the additional time invested in incremental execution with respect to batch processing. We tested all queries, but only show the queries that were introduced the wasted work. In this experiment, we use the final work constraint 0.02 if the cost model permits. Recall that the, cost, the final work constraint is a percentage of the final work of batch processing. For some queries, the cost model cannot reach this constraint even if it has used the max pace. In those cases, we will use the constraint 0.05. We can see NQP has much lower addition time for these queries reported here compared to the incrementability of previous approach. And this approach has much higher addition time for Q15 because the query needs to maintain a max aggregate operator with respect to the needs. In our implementation, if the max value is denoted, 
we have to resort all values arrived so far to find the new max value. NQP can reduce this cost by lazily maintaining this max aggregate operator with delays. Let's look at the query latency with respect to the same constraints. We can see NQP has smaller or similar latencies to the single pace approach for most queries. In some out near cases, such as Q2, NQP has higher latency. This is due to the inaccuracy of the cost model. Let's look at the result of NQP's performance under varied final work constraints. We report the additional time on the x axis and the query latency on the y axis. We start with the constraint one, which is the case of batch processing, and gradually increasing the constraint from 0.5 to 0.05. We can see that for all constraints, NQP has much lower additional time and also have the similar latency. Many experiments are not covered in the talk. Please check our paper for a detailed experiment. To conclude, we propose NQP as a new query processing method that sits between batch process and continuous query processing. It leverages incrementability to reduce the total work and achieve similar latency. Thank you for the listening. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or need to hire database people in the next year.